Hello for this is from the Coin Dictionary and welcome in another episode uh, in my uh, series on the Polish Communist coinage. Right now we are covering the 20 zloty commemoratives and this is the first one. And this uh, was the first uh, 20 zloty commemorative minted in 1974, which was the second year over, uh, overall for the denomination. Mm. Before we get into the topic of uh, what this coin commemorates, let's just uh, get uh, its details out of the way first. This coin was uh, minted in copper nickel, it weighs 10.15 grams, its diameter is 28.8 millimeters, which means it is slightly smaller than a US half dollar, its thickness is 2.11 millimeters, and the edge is rated like so. Uh, with that out of the way, let's uh, focus on the topic at hand, which is the occasion it is commemorating. And this coin is uh, uh, was minted to uh, celebrate the 25th anniversary of the establishment of RWPG or RWPG, I would say, or Comecon, I think it is called in English. Now, uh, this organization was established in 1949 and it is essentially sort of a predecessor to the European Union except in the Eastern Bloc. You know, this was a economical union for countries uh, in the Eastern Europe and uh, some other states to exchange uh, goods and services more easily and uh, essentially help one another. Uh, it was established, as I said, in uh, 1949 uh, by Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Poland, Romania, Hungary and the USSR. Later on, some other communist countries joined in. And this coin is commemorating the 25th anniversary of that. Now, uh, in, in English, as, as far as I know, it is uh, called Comecon. In Poland, it is Rada Wzajemnej Pomocy Gospodarczej or RWPG. And this is how you would uh, spell out this uh, abbreviation in Polish. The organization was dissolved in 1991 after the Eastern Bloc, you know, collapsed. And this, the organization was quite prominent uh, in that period, and uh, in fact, uh, in Poland during communism, it was illegal to criticize it. Uh, yeah, not the happiest times. However, I think they are very interesting nonetheless. As for the overview, on the reverse, which is considered the front over here, everyone would call this side the front, even though it is the reverse, there's some uh, let's say, socialistic uh, motifs like sunflower petals and uh, a gear to symbolize the development and progress of the socialist uh, republics and the writing uh, 25 lat RWPG uh, 25 years of uh, RWPG or Comecon. On the obverse there is the Polish coat of arms missing its crown as per, well, as per usual. Uh, the mint mark is right here there is the writing around Polska Rzeczpospolita Ludowa or People's Republic of Poland, the name of the country at that time, the date, and the domination 20 złotych below. And the writer's initials are here. It was designed by Józef Markiewicz Nieszcz. And the coin was minted in 2 million pieces, and it is very easily accessible. Uh, in nicer conditions, such as this one, it costs around maybe $5, when in uh, worse conditions, uh, like XF, it's, you can easily get it for a dollar or two. In exceptionally high, high grades, like you know MS68 or something, and usually graded, it can go up to tens of hundreds of dollars. However, these ones are very unique and rare. Yeah, I think this coin is very interesting, especially that the organization it commemorates is something not a lot of people know about. And I think the history of, of the Eastern Bloc and uh, the, this side of the Cold War is very interesting. I am, I, I am pretty f uh, fascinated by it. So I, I would recommend you checking this coin out since it is somewhat historical and, you know, not something you see very often. So thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian and I own The Coin Dictionary and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, 
as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.